Hello friends, good evening. Today we are going to discuss accrual income and accrual expenses. What is the meaning of that and how you can recognize that or pass that entry into Odoo. Accrual income are the income which are you know earned but not yet invoiced, not yet you know uh, paid from customer and accrued expense are those who are you know made purchase of and uh, then you know we incurred as an expense but we have not you know paid to our vendors but we have to show that as a part of our profit and loss account so how do we do that so to do so i have created two journals accrual income which type is miscellaneous and give ainc as you know uh, the journal identification sort code and then accrued expenses with two accounts uh, with second account accrued expenses the type of both the account are you know the income will be my current asset type account and then when i go to my expenses it is type of current liability type account now let's do how we can realize that so when i do any kind of sales and i am creating a new quotation for the customer i am adding some products to purchase from whether it's a you know physical good or services so let's say i am buying something or i am selling something sorry in this case i am selling something i confirm this order i haven't made delivery and uh, there is no uh, you know impact of it anywhere over here but now what I need to I need to recognize this particular transaction in my income account. So 300 rupees that is untaxed income I want to pass and I will going to choose accrual account income and accrued income as an account which will register accrued income as a debit and it will credit my local sales account temporarily for that. So what now I need to do is I need to give it into my account transaction I have to realize this income today and I want to reverse this by end of my financial year or maybe I am expecting the uh, payment from my customer or transaction to be done by 31st 10 then Odoo will create two different entries one entry which will pass on 31st October like reversing my local sales and accrued income but the entry which immediately passes realizing my local sales and then accrued income is debited. Now if I see my PNL account, I will see my income is here which is accrued income and then based on that you know I have get my PNL as a stronger part. Now if I see draft entries also it will be going to reverse this transaction on this particular date which I choose during my transaction. So that's how I can register some income which are not realized yet but I want to show it as a part of my income. That's what accrual moves and accrual income I can register from here. Now let's see the similar thing for purchase. Now let's say I'm making some purchase worth 100 rupees and then over here if I want to pass accrued expense entry I am just selecting my expense journal and accrued expense as an account and I want to pass 100 rupees as my expense which should be uh, you know realize today's date but the reversal of that would be somewhere around 31st October uh, Odoo will do automatically as soon as I do that system will generate again two entry to settle down like it will register my expense here against the accrued expense account and then it will reverse on 31st October. Now if we want to see the ledger it will register my income and expense both with respective transaction. Now if I want to see my uh, PNL account uh, PNL report I can see 300 rupees of income which is not yet done but I want to show it as a part of my selling process and some expenses which I incurred. Uh, I want to register expense but which is not really paid off to my vendor and as soon as I you know uh, do draft entries also system is going to nullify that at certain date and then the effect will be gone. And as soon as I create a normal, uh, uh, confirm the PO, receive the item, create the vendor bill, everything will go as it is inside Odoo. 
but this accrual uh, entry I can do either from my PO or uh, for registering my accrual expenses from here as well as inside my sales order from this action button I can register my accrued revenue entry for particular sales to register my income temporarily and show it in my profit and loss account hope uh, this small feature helps a lot of people uh, to use uh, this particular accrual feature to generate the journal entries and make their profit and loss account uh, look more stronger based on the accruals uh, business they do thank you